Hey guys, welcome to my new video. This is just going to be me rambling about, I'll try to keep it short, but about me going from 6,000 PP to 7,000 PP in about the span. But the majority of the change came around in the last couple of months. Uh, I just wanted to explain how I got out of the rut that I've been in for the past six years where I got to my peak rank of 14,000 and then slowly just kept decaying because I kept failing to play the game. Most notably due to the fact that I felt like I wasn't improving, I wasn't getting rank, I wasn't getting these FCs, and I just wanted to hear all that. To get started, a little context, I've been playing Osu for, if we're going to talk just by length of time, I have almost 1200 hours in it, I'm a, I'm a high 5 digit formerly, so and I guess I'm getting back there now. Uh, but I started playing back in 2016, first couple of months I didn't really play that much, but eventually I started taking it more seriously, and then I actually got to rank around 15,000 in like a little over a year of playing. Not the fastest in previous, I'm no MREC or Flying Tutor or anything like that, but needless to say, I was pretty fast, especially compared to how I was improving after I hit those ranks. Around there is when I hit my first like real wall for skill and at that time I was playing six stars high five stars and I was just having a really hard time progressing up to like mid higher six stars and the primary reason for that is I was mentally blocking myself from trying harder things because I was half remembering these improvement videos I used to watch back in 2017 when I was like, man, I want to improve, I want to get better at the game. And one of the advices that for some reason stuck in my head, but only kind of halfway, uh, was one in regards to pushing your limits, where I remember them saying, you gotta push your limits, but stay, don't, don't go too far out of your comfort zone, like make sure you understand what's going on. I didn't really understand how much out of your zone you're supposed to play so i was kind of overthinking it in such a way and since i don't like to think that much i kind of just gave up on pushing your limits so i would just stick to doing these five and six stars and hoping every day i'll get a little bit better at and maybe i could actually consistently surprisingly it's like the 80 20 rule you know it's way easier to get the 80 percent first 80 percent of the skill but the last 20 percent is really hard to grind like for those fcs those high, high accuracy scores and stuff like that so, when I came back to the game recently, about two months ago, uh, back in July, I just kind of played with no expectations, unlike the previous times I came back to the game, and I would get the dopamine rush of de-rusting and gain feeling that fast improvement feeling again, like when, I when you first started the game, but this time, when you actually end up de-rusting, you go back to, you know, feeling stuck, because... You're not getting feeling like a rapid improvement anymore. But this time I went and watched these improvement videos again. I think I mean they're they're like updated ones up to you know 2023 standards, not 2017 at the time. And I took notes about pushing your limits. It like refreshed my mind, took gave me a whole new perspective on it. And Spaz's video of regarding a mindset with using local rankings as a way to measure your progress and helping you alleviate pressure off yourself from having to get a perfect score every time you play a map so i would go play some six star seven stars eight stars trying to just push my skill just playing maps where i enter with like no expectations of doing i just want to play through it you know even when i was training speed for double time plays because i was like man i would have i've seen m reckon on this guy's play so fast i want to <laughs> i want to be part of this so I started grinding DT when at the time I couldn't tap 220 like more than 10 times without my fingers dying out. So I just grinded those for C ranks. I put on no fail just in case, just to just to really play like these five stars with double times, even though I know they're way too hard for me. I could hardly get a C rank on some of them. But the important part is every single day you go back to those maps, you have local rankings on, you have yourself to compare yourself to but not like from years ago, because these, these are all new maps you've never played before. So you're, you're comparing yourself to the day previous, and since you're seeing yourself slowly get, actually like get improving your scores, that gives you a sensation of improvement, which helps you want to keep playing, because, you know, as in my case, I play the game to get better. You know, I know the 
please enjoy game. That's really important. But how I enjoy the game is by improving at the game. So that really helped me stay glued to the game and actually play consistently. I mean, even if you look at my play chart, it's for this month alone, July and August, it's going to probably be double my highest play count on a single month. And hopefully we can maintain that as school gets started, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, point is, as I was getting better at these seven and high star maps that I once couldn't get a C rank, I was starting to see some B ranks, a few A ranks show up. That really motivated me. It gave me, I must have like done some brain chemical things to like motivate your brain to actually get better at this faster or something. But eventually I actually started getting some crazy chokes on these seven star maps. Largely in part because I kind of entered them with no expectations. So the fact that I was doing really good on them, it didn't really register with me until the map was over. For example, I have a snow drive, top difficulty, a six bis choke. Uh, I got a blue zenith four dimensions choke, albeit terrible accuracy. I have it on screen here. But the fact that I was even able to do that when before I couldn't even pass the map, it was insane to me. <laughs> Uh, for first storm, this is a more recent score, but I got a four miss reverse choke in a way. I missed the, the three notes of the last stream, but hit everything else with really good accuracy, like near 99 ac on a seven star. When I was, I could I could hardly FC six stars. It felt like at the time, and then I also got a four miss, one miss reverse choke esque Uto run. This is the seven star version, by the way, not the six star. And everything will freeze the extra difficulty, the second t highest difficulty. 7.2 stars, I got a one miss choke on it, albeit bad accuracy. Yeah, but it's 240 BPM, you know, I, I was just trying to learn how to get faster. So that part was insane. So I had this new standard set. I could FC these seven stars. So whenever I went back, keep in mind, my highest PP play at this time was probably like 220, 330, 350. So when I went back to these six stars where farming that amount of PP is like kind of like the norm, it felt way easier to play and set these scores. I felt way less pressure going into these maps because I was going with way more confidence since I had the, the knowledge in my head that I have all these crazy high star chokes that going back to these six stars felt way easier. Like I w it was hard to get nervous because I had so much confidence that I'm not gonna miss, <laughs> you know? And even if I did, because I had the mindset gained from using local ranking about improving every day, even if I don't manage to get some FC I'm looking for that day, I still feel motivated the day after to come improve it because I had that kind of pattern set for me when I was using local rankings at the high star rankings. And yeah, I think that just like completely blew my mind how I, I was saying these scores I never thought was possible. I was like mentally gating myself from being able to do stuff like this. And even talking about double time, I like I said, I couldn't tap 220 barely. When and grinded Magic Girl, which I was able to FC with my highest act ever, even compared to my passes on it. I was able to do Sona Yuma. You saw that play on my channel. I've been, I've choked that map so many times because I always got so nervous at the ending because I was like, man, I, I, I can't I can't do this. This is like oh this is like exactly where my skill level is. It's like if I do this, it's a miracle. But since I had these really high star chokes, it was like way more mellow of a feeling. Uh, Hitori Goto five star difficulty FC. I have I've had so many chokes and even worse, so many B's and C ranks on this map. That's not on the picture here. You gotta scroll down and see all my local rankings. So the fact that I was getting a ninety seven percent F full combo. I th on the day when it was my like first or second try on the map, it was just mind blowing. I, I, I couldn't believe that happened. And this map about improving my speed, I never thought I could tap over 220. This is a 260 BPM stream map when you put on DT basically, right? Uh, at the time I had 93% uh, FC, quote unquote. I mean, it was pretty bad accuracy, but uh, in the time that I was doing this improvement phase, I went from a 95.98 ac FC and then I improved it to 97 within like a few days after that. So my speed was better, my accuracy was getting better, the skill cap at which I was able to play was much higher than when I started and it just made improving playing the game way more fun most importantly and I actually saw a lot of progress and it, it's, it was just amazing. <laughs> In essence this whole video just talks about I improved and that was by 
take stepping away from my comfort zone, which I thought was the only way to improve, that you slowly ramped up the difficulty, which is kind of how you're supposed to do it, but you need, you're missing an element when you simplify it that much. You need to play things that are harder in order to get better at things that are harder. So, I did that. I went and played seven stars when I was normally only comfortable playing low, mid, six stars. And when I went and did that, I entered with no expectations. I had no mental limitations on myself. I didn't have an expectation that, oh, I can only do the six stars. I was just playing mind free and I was able to surprise myself with a level of improvement I haven't seen since when I started the game. And this cycle of improving on maps that are, are hard and you have no expectations of them, so you can probably play them better since you're not like getting nervous about doing well. And then going back to some maps that were your previous level, mentally speaking, uh, and you just smoke them like they're nothing. But yeah, if you are experiencing something like this, uh, I'm not a top player, so I guess don't take my word for super <laughs> strength. I don't even know the efficacy of my own advice, but it seemed to work for me. So if you're experiencing something similar where you feel like you've been stuck for so long and just playing the same maps over and over, you're not seeing anything change, I should try something hard. That's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you all for watching. I am out. Peace.